Hello and welcome to this lunch and learn webinar on displaying and scheduling data in ARCHICAD. In ARCHICAD, as well as the geometry, the 3D model and the graphical data, the model contains consider considerable non-graphic data. This exists in a number of different levels, so some of this information is stored within the element level. And by that I mean in the individual components such as the windows, doors and walls. For example, this wall here contains information on what type of element it is, in this case the wall element. Also IDs, um, this element ID increments one by one for each component as we create them. Some data on the structural information and the positioning, renovation filters and so on, and also additional properties that can be tagged against those elements, such as in this case uh, fire ratings and so on. Information also exists at the global level, so when we're looking at this particular wall, we can we can check what materials this is made of. In this case, it's a standard cavity wall with insulation, plaster, bricks and blocks and so on. But each of these materials also contains data or information on um, that particular material. So for example, looking at this insulation, it has the graphic data that controls how this is drawn within the model, and the non-graphic data including IDs, manufacturer information and thermal properties and we can tag extra information in here for example for the particular manufacturer of this component. The idea is as well as being able to take the 2D drawings for them from this model for the sections, elevations, details and so on, we can take the data from the model and this can be presented in a number of different ways. First of all, we'll have a look through the element schedules, which creates lists of different components that exist within this model. So, for example, this door schedule. So this door schedule is listing all of the doors within the model. And we can see that the door type is listed, the overall dimensions of that particular component, the fire rating, and the quantity. So some doors, such as this one, has uh, a quantity of nine, and we can see there's nine of this within the model. We also have a preview for, for the elevation of this door and that gives us an illustration within this particular schedule. To control the information that's displayed in the schedule, we can go into the scheme settings at the top. The scheme controls which elements are displayed, so in this case all door types, and also which properties are displayed for that particular door. We can add further fields either as parameters or properties from those components things that are specific to those library components, or if we're working with IFC data, we can link the IFC properties for those components too. To control the display of the schedule, we can open up the display settings at the side. That controls whether we're displaying the data in rows or columns. So in this case, we're displaying the data for each element by column. The text styles, and also information uh, display properties that relate to particular parts of the schedule such as this preview. In this case we're displaying these door elevations at a 1 to 50 scale. Editing the components is bi-directional so we can ed either edit those in the model themselves or we can select them in the schedule and edit them in here. So for example we can change the fire ratings in the schedule and that will update the information back in the model as well. We can also see which elements we're working with at that particular time. So if I select a door in the schedule, we can go and see it on the floor plan view, and that zooms in and selects that particular door. Or we can view it in the 3D model. And by opening up the settings for this door, we can check the properties against this particular element and this is the fire rating that's linked through into the schedule. Now this particular schedule has nine of this door type and that's because we're merging together the uniform types. If we untick that checkbox, they're now listed individually. Whereas if we do merge the uniform items, any elements where all of the properties that are displayed are exactly the same will be grouped together in this way. The schedule also allows us to create annotations. These illustrations automatically have dimensions added for their width and height, 
but by clicking the annotate button we can create our own annotations within this drawing we can draw over the top and we can add our own dimensions for example for the handle height Once we've created the schedule, we can do a number of things with it. Firstly, we can save this out as an Excel spreadsheet. And this is the version of that spreadsheet that's been exported to Excel. So we can see that it does preserve the text styles and also the graphics, they get exported as JPEGs. Or we can continue to work on this in Archicad and create it and place it onto drawing sheets in the normal way. So we'll look at that in a moment. If I open up the second schedule in this list, this is another way of displaying pretty much the same data as the door schedule, but we're just displaying it in a different format. So in this case, we're displaying each door as a separate row. We're displaying its unique ID number, the door type. So we have multiple instances of each door type, the room that it's attached to, the dimensions, and then properties for the acoustic ratings and fire ratings and so on. If we look at these doors back in the floor plan view, the information on the rooms that they are connected to is currently displayed as zones within Archicad. The zones create annotations for each particular space within the building, the names, IDs and so on, but also give us information on the volumes and floor plan areas of those spaces. So the schedule here is telling us whereabouts in this project each of those doors is located. Alternatively, we could add a little bit more information to the schedule and display which zone the door leads from and which zone the door leads to. We also have a similar schedule set up for the windows within this particular project. Going back to the zones, we can create schedules to display all of the spaces or all of the rooms within this project. In this case, again, we're listing them by story with their individual ID numbers, the name of that particular space, and also the category. We've got different categories that we can allocate to those different zones. And then for each of those, we've got information on the area and volume for those spaces. That can actually be set up in a number of different ways. So if I select one of those zones and go into its settings, we can, we can set those up to the inner edge of the spaces or measure to the reference line. Or we can use calculations to reduce the area based on the columns, uh, internal walls or spaces under any ceilings. Similarly, we can display total areas based on the category of those zones instead of the actual names of each of those spaces. In this case, we're displaying each of the zones by category on each story, the areas of each of those, and then the total area for each story. At the bottom, we've got a grand total for the entire project. Again, that's set up in the scheme settings. If we look at the scheme settings, we're listing anything that is a zone. We're also looking for zones on the particular layer. And next to the measured area for each of those zones, we're displaying the, the uh, total. And because we've put a flag next to the story, we're also getting the subtotal for each story. Next, we've got some schedules set up for particular components or particular objects within this project. So we've got some set up for sanitary wear. Again, this time we've got different types of preview, floor plan and elevational previews, or the text-based schedule, giving us the individual elements per story, the serial numbers, costs and quantities. And further data for each of those components um, so information on the particular manufacturer where, um, and linking to those websites. The final element schedules we have within this project are for the blinds. 
So these are actually manufacturer specific objects. And we have properties in here that are specific to those particular elements. So in this case, the fixing of those components, whether it's inside the reveal in this case, or on the wall itself, the control mechanisms and how that should be fitted, the operation type, and the product specification. So this can help when ordering those components, but also help when fitting those, giving us information on how they should be installed. And underneath, we have a separate schedule to also assist with the installation. This gives us information on where each of those blinds is located within the project, the product reference, and how it should be fitted. We also have some additional properties here so that when this, these elements are installed, we can put in the installation date and information that relates to the warranty. So this will help with FM purposes later on. These particular properties can be completed within Archicad, but they can also be exported to Excel and completed in Excel. That allows somebody who's not using Archicad, such as the installer, to complete that information and then allow us to import it back in. So what we can do is we can export a schedule. We can fill in the information that's required. And then back in Archicad, we can import the schedule back in. This gives us a spreadsheet of which properties we can import. And we can simply tick or untick the columns to control whether they do get imported back into the schedule. And what we see when we click import, that's completed that information in the schedule now. We also have some hyperlinks set up and that enables when we view this project on the BIMX application, we'll be able to check the hyperlinks from the element back to its position within the project. So that gives us the element schedules, as I said, listing the information on the specific elements within the project. We also have component schedules. So component schedules, instead of listing individual elements, give us information on what they're made of. So in this case, we've got a schedule that lists all of the materials within the project and the volumes of each of those. This schedule is simply listing anything that isn't an airspace material, and we want information on its name and the volume. We could list them by classification, so we can see exactly which element types those materials are formed from. By each individual component, so here we have a list of each individual ID for each component, the materials, the thickness of the material and the volume. Or we could start listing the information based on the manufacturer data. So where we put in the Kingspan manufacturer against the insulation, that's now listed within the schedule. The third type of schedule in Archicad relates to the finishers. So instead of looking at the actual building materials that the elements are made from, we can look at the surface area of those components and any finishers that need to be applied. So in, in this case, we may have particular surfaces that are made from plaster, but then we can look at the amount of paint that's required for each of those surfaces within the model. Once we've created our schedules, we can add those to our drawing sheets. So our first drawing sheet gives us the doors. First of all, with the illustrations. And secondly, the information on where those doors are located within the projects. The same for the windows. The room data sheets. and the sanitary wear. Now this particular schedule is too large to fit on the page. So what we can actually do is start to drag around the boundaries of this um, drawing on the page to try and get it to fit. So in this particular case, there isn't a way that we can configure this that the entire thing is going to fit, fit on a single page. What we can do 
We can ask Archicad to split that drawing across multiple pages, multiple layouts. So as soon as we've done that, the graphic updates telling us that this is now split over multiple pages. And at the bottom of the screen, we can scroll to the next page and that shows us the rest of the schedule. If later on we add any additional sanitary wear to this project, that would automatically create additional drawing sheets as required. Next, we've got information on the blinds. We can update this particular drawing, and that will give us the information that we imported from the spreadsheet on the installation dates and the warranty dates. The schedules that relate to the materials and the surfaces within this project. Another way that we can display the data in the model, as well as the schedules, is by using the label and annotation tools. So here, for example, we can see that each window has a unique ID number, and that's automatically been added to this drawing. And we've also got schedules, and we've also got labels to give us information on the particular materials that are being used. So here we can see the makeup of this roof with zinc insulation, the membrane, and wood. And we can add these labels to addition to other components within the model. For example, this wall, and that will give us information on the materials used within those components. Similarly, if I wanted to add labels to give the IDs for each of the windows and doors on this drawing, we can select the label type, in this case the ID. We can select the windows and doors, and we can create our annotations. And now we have the IDs for each of those displayed on this drawing. Again, this is bi-directional, so if the ID of those components does change, that will automatically be updated on this drawing as well as in the schedules. And by going to the ground floor, we can see each of the zones or the rooms within the building. And this zone can display information on the floor plan, such as its name and ID, and its properties, such as its this floor plan area and volume. Next, we're going to have a look at this information in BIMX, which is the mobile app for Archicad. So I'm just going to move across to the iPad. And this is the same project that we just had open in Archicad. So this enables us to look at the 3D model, but also take through drawing sheets, such as the schedules, which we've already looked at. And if we do go across to the model, we can navigate around, and by clicking on any particular component, we can get the relevant information that we want to display on this. So during export to BIMX, we can control exactly which properties get exported to BIMX. In this case, for the window, we've got the ID numbers, the dimensions. Uh, the cost hasn't been completed for this. But if this were input, this would update in the model. And if we just walk into the model and we find another element, such as these blinds, Here we have the information that we looked at in the Archicad schedule. And it's giving us the information on the manufacturer, manufacturer for the blind, product references, a URL so we can link directly to the manufacturer's website, and the installation date and warranty information that we input through a spreadsheet. OK, so that concludes this webinar. If you go to our website, applecoredesigns.co.uk, we have three more webinars that we've now announced, one on Archicad pilot projects, one on revision control, and one on level of definition. So please feel free to register for those upcoming events. And thank you for attending today.